Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you guys how to get a sultry look with the Urban Decay Naked palette. If you'd like to skip ahead to the tutorial, just click the screen right now and I'm going to continue to talk about some of the products that I used. I do want to say that I believe that this is going to be my last Urban Decay Naked palette look and that doesn't mean that you'll never see the Naked palette in any of my videos in the future. It is a versatile palette. I hope that I've conveyed that in the three looks that I've done. But I also had to kind of um, bring to a screeching halt all these things that I also had planned. And I have so many, I have a few drugstore uh, eye looks planned with like wet and wild eyeshadows that I think you guys will find very helpful. Um, it's not that the Naked palette is expensive, but I wouldn't call it cheap. If it was $20 and you got this many eyeshadows, that would be cheap. But I, I want to kind of continue to follow the vision that I had for where, where this channel was going. So... Uh, with that said, the colors that I used in the uh, Naked palette, so you guys can find dupes um, yourselves if you don't have this palette, are Smog, and that's like a bronzy color, and Gunmetal, and uh, Naked, which is a flesh tone color. So what I did is I put this all over the lid, bronze all over the lid, the Gunmetal in the crease, and then Naked to blend Gunmetal all the way up to the eyebrow. Um, I hate when I say um. People like to point that out too, but uh, now I want to say um and I'm saying everything but um. I just need to learn to pause. What you can do, oh, really cool thing that I wanted to say, you can totally call, like this is like one of those like reverse, you know how you can like buy like reverse shirts and reverse belt and it's like black on one side and brown on the other? You can think of this as a reverse look, so you can do gunmetal on the lid and smog in the crease and reverse like everything that I did and you'll still have a really sultry look. I had trouble deciding but when I picked out my shirt I was like, uh, brown, I'll just put smog on the eyelid. I could have gotten away with gunmetal on the eyelid but this is just what I decided. I couldn't do both and I couldn't do one eye in one and the other in the other. I would have just looked like a crazy person. So uh, most of the products um, that I use have been the same things that I always use. I stick to what I know works well. And uh, the eyelashes are different. They're the Ardell lashes. They're 106 black. I got them from Sally Beauty Supply. That's pretty much where I get all my eyelashes. I haven't ventured into getting eyelashes on eBay or anything um, or other like uh, beauty supply stores around me. And the thing that I'm using today that I really, really love, and you will find this in a favorites video, for sure, is uh, I bought a set of three of these. They're the uh, Lip Fusion Infatuation Glosses. I've only used two types of lip plumpers. One is the Duop Lip Venom, and one is these Lip Fusion ones. I have like the clear one, I have the overnight one. I've had like a holiday set of all the colors from like red and pink and nude and um, deep pink. I've had them all and I love them and I always use them up. So when I saw these at Ulta, it was like a pack of three. I bought these months and months ago, but I really, really love them. Um, this is the first time I'm wearing it in a video. This is how I got the nude look. I guess I should talk about my inspiration, right? Not really inspired. I just remember thinking, like looking at the colors and saying, what am I going to create today? And uh, some of my looks are premeditated. Some of them are on a whim. This happened to be one like more on a whim. Um, when I thought sultry, um, and what the word sultry for me conjures up is sexy but soft so it's a softer version of sexy and that's pretty much how the makeup is the crease lines are not harsh there's an, it's not exaggerated shimmer because you don't want to look like you're trying too hard the only thing that's defined on my eyes and not not smudged is my eyeliner on my top lid but I have eyeshadow smudged on the bottom my waterline eyeliner smudged on the bottom and uh, I don't have like highlight or anything my le my skin is flawless lips are plumped that's how I interpret sultry, and that's how I incorporated it all into a makeup look. And uh, I believe that that's all. As always, products are going to be listed in the description box below. And if there's something I don't cover, I'm not perfect. Just ask, and I'll be more than happy to answer. And just keep watching to see how to get this look. Thank you, guys. I totally flubbed, and I forgot for like two seconds that I'm supposed to be taping a tutorial on this. So I already applied a little bit of smog to this eye, then I tried to wipe it off, then it was like my makeup was coming off, and I figured, whatever, I'll just admit that I screwed up. But in essence, you just want to put uh, two or three layers of smog on your eyelid, just your eyelid, and all the way inner corner to the outer corner. Next, you want to take a blending brush. This is a little blending brush. It's from a travel set. 
because I needed something smaller than the other blending brush that I had. And you want to use gunmetal to draw, depending on your eye shape, either a line or an, an arc in your crease. Because I want my eyes to look longer because they're naturally very round, I'm going to take a line. You don't want gunmetal to be too, too intense. Having a sultry look means nothing is, looks like you try too hard. So maybe two layers of gunmetal, well blended. Okay, to blend the top of the gunmetal into your eyebrow, I'm just gonna wipe this brush off on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna use Naked right here, which is kind of like a flesh tone, very matte, and then blend the edge of gunmetal and all the way up to my brow. So our eyes are done and now I just want to take the Whiskey 24-7 liner that came with the Naked palette. You can use any brown and line the lower lash line because over that we're going to put an eyeshadow and this will intensify that color of the eyeshadow as well as make it look deeper. Then over that on my lower lash line, I'm just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to use Smog once again and I'm going to go over that line of the dark brown liner on my lower lash line. So last couple steps, you just want to take the matte coal liner and draw a strong like winged line on the top lid and then fill in your waterline and dragging that a little bit into your lash line so it looks smudgy on the bottom. I know that there's a shadow being thrown on this side, but if I show you in the light, all it is is a thick winged liner and then I have fake eyelashes on and I can tell that that's creating a shadow that's making my eyelashes um, as well as my eyeliner look really, really dark on this eye, but it's actually not that intense. While the liquid eyeliner is drying, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline. To finish the look, I'm just going to finish eyeliner on this eye and then I'm going to apply mascara and then my fake eyelashes and one more coat of mascara to fuse my eyelashes with the fake lashes. I hope that this helps you guys out and thank you for watching. Bye!